Kill Tech, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to show you how to enable um, tethering on your Nexus 5. As you can see, this is the Nexus 5. Um, I'm going to show you how to able, enable tethering on here. First step, you want to head into settings. You want to go to more. After you hit more, mobile networks, APNs. Go ahead and click that one and go down here. Right here. Make sure that is um, version 4 because 6 doesn't work yet, I guess. Maybe work in the future. Make sure that's set to 4, version 4. Now, what you want to do, oh yeah, you have to have root for this, by the way. You have to have root. Go into, what is this, ES File Explorer. So I'm do um, hit the hit the little globe thing right there. Go down, make sure the root is on. Hit that. Go down and mount. Make sure it's on RW. Now what you want to do is hit that SD card right there. Hit device. Go to data. Data. Now go down. Provider settings, settings right here. Hit database in this file right here. You're going to want to copy that file. Copy that file. Uh, look up here. Hit that database. Go to the SD card. Cop and go ahead and paste it right here. As I already did it right there. It's paste right there. After that, what you want to do. Is head into the app store and download an app called DB Browser. After you do that, you want to go in there, go to search, go to other, the stores, not apps. Type in dot DB. No, you can't really see that. This is the brightness. There you go. Um, go ahead and search for that. It should be the first one going and hit that. Connect. Go ahead and tap that. Explore database. Now what you want to do is hit tablets. Then global. See data. Now what you want to come down here, hit that new row. Thing. What you want to do is type in tether underscore done underscore requirements. I mean required. As you can see right there, actually out of correction. Go ahead and fix that. Just like that. Tether underscore done underscore required. And the value is zero. Now you want to hit done. And go ahead and hit save. I'm not going to do that, meaning I already did this. After that, you want to go back into files, the file explorer. Go ahead and copy that file. Copy that file. Well, let me go ahead and do it. Let's copy it. Go ahead and copy that. Now you want to go back to the device. Basically the same place you were when you started. Data. Uh, it's kind of hard doing it behind the camera. Data. Data. Alright. Provider settings. database and basically go ahead and um, paste it here and after that what I always do I just go back in here to make sure nothing gets messed up or whatever go back and unmount that and I also I just turn the root out root explorer off and what you want to do is go ahead and reboot and 
you should have tethering for free on T-Mobile or I'm not sure about any other carrier I know it works on T-Mobile not sure about AT&T or Sprint but it does work on T-Mobile so this has been a quick video how to enable tethering to get free tethering not to pay that extra fees which don't make sense I mean you should be able to use the internet you have in the first place um, I'm Phil and this is Phil Tech and if you like the video go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you have any comments questions any your thoughts leave it down below and I'll see you in the next video